Hello and good morning. Welcome to another Foundation Kids Art Corner. We are super excited for you guys to be here today. Go ahead, say hi in the comments. Let me see who's tuning in. Go ahead, write your name. I'm so excited that you guys are joining us for today. Uh, I thought today we would go ahead and explore some printmaking. Now, when it comes to printmaking, there are loads and loads of different kinds. So we're going to talk about relief printmaking today. Um, but I wanted to go over some of the technical stuff for printmaking. So typically, when you're doing printmaking, you would have what we call a brayer. Now, a brayer is a, it looks like a little roller, right? It's got a rubber roller on it and a handle. And you use this to help spread your ink across your surface. So if you were going to ink um, your plate, you would go ahead and ink and roll it and it rolls real nice. Now, you might be thinking, uh, I definitely don't have a brayer at home and that's okay because I'm just gonna talk about it, but I'm actually gonna use a paintbrush today. But you can get these pretty cheap off of Amazon. I think this one was $8. So if you wanna get super real with your art, brayer on Amazon. And then typically for printmaking, you'd also use ink. So this is Speedball, it's block printing ink. So it's made to be used with relief art and anything with um, you can make with blocks or anything like that. So you would take some of your ink, you'd put it on your surface and you'd roll it out. Now typically you don't roll um, directly onto what you're printing from, it depends. So for a relief paint, uh, printing, you could roll directly over it with the brayer, but you wouldn't put this on the relief block and then roll, it would get too messy. So you'd have a separate surface that you would ink your brayer with and then roll it on your surface. So that's ink and brayer, right? But like I said, I'm going to show you guys today with a paintbrush and some paint in case if you don't have those things at home. So the first thing I wanted to do was some nature prints. So I'm going to use um, my cookie sheet right here. So got this from the dollar store. It's a little wobbly. I see you got some paint on it from yesterday, but it's a great a smooth surface to use. And so you're gonna wanna go outside first and pick up some leaves. So I have some leaves and some grass here that I've pre-picked already. And I used some yesterday for my test prints. Um, and so I'm gonna use these today. You're gonna take your tray. You wanna put a little bit of paint on it. Not a ton. Um, if it gets super wet, you're gonna get lots of pull marks essentially. When you pull up, it's gonna look kinda wrinkly. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of paint here in the middle to start off with. You can always add more if it's not enough. So you'd rather start with not enough than too much. So I'm gonna spread that. And another dab. You can use any colors you want. This is acrylic paint. Uh, it'll work with tempera, um, water-based paints, anything that would transfer onto a piece of paper. All right, I'm gonna do just a smidge more. All right, so you're just gonna brush it on, a nice thin coat of paint. Then you're gonna take your leaves or your grass or flowers, whatever you go outside to grab, and then you're gonna wanna place them into the paint. Um, so I put the veiny side down, so I'm gonna go ahead, place it down there. If it doesn't lay flat, that is okay. I'm gonna place this one down here maybe a long piece of grass. I would love to know what kind of stuff you have in your yard. Maybe you have a really good flower print, or plant, not print, outside, or some really cool leaves. All right, so I'm gonna grab a blank piece of paper, like this one. All right, so I have my leaves down, my paint's there, and I'm going to lay my paper flat and I'm going to begin to press. Now, you want to press across the whole piece of paper, and you kinda wanna take your finger and outline those leaves that you have down, those pieces of grass, whatever it is that you have down. Make sure you get a nice firm print around them. Now, because you know leaves are a little thicker than paper, it's gonna be a little hard sometimes to get um, just the outline of the grass or the leaf, press real good. Get up all that paint. And then we're gonna pull it up. And there's our first print, right? 
So you see that I had a leaf there, leaf there, leaf there, and my grass in the middle. So you can do this multiple times with different colors. You can mix colors. This one I did blue and purple with it. Um, and so you're gonna pull these prints. Now the really cool thing about this is after you stick them in your paint, you can do a secondary print um, with on the back side of the paper or on a new piece of paper. And you can pick up your leaves that now have paint on them, right? And then print them down for a second print. So just with this one activity, you can make two different prints. Print this one down, and these ones you'll get a really see the detail of those leaves. This one. Right? So you can see those beautiful leaves. So with this, you get to make two different types of prints. Now, I took some printmaking classes in college, and so I wanted to show you guys one of my prints that I made. Um, it's actually a screen print that I made. So a screen print would be made with a screen, right? A screen print happens a lot when it comes to t-shirts or different types of artwork. And so that's my pug wearing a wig and glasses that I made um, but way back when. I have another print, too, from my friend Addie. And this is also during a screen printing class. Um, and so you see there, um, how many colors can you see? See, I see a pink, a yellow, a blue, and a black, right? So four colors. And so she would have to do four different runs of ink to make that happen. And so that is screen printing, which is a little different than relief printing, which is what we're doing today. I wanted to talk about a really cool artist, too, who does some really awesome relief painting. Well, did. Um, his name is Hakusai, and he has this really famous artwork called The Great Wave or The Wave. I wonder how many of you guys have ever seen this before. I see a lot used in many different ways. So um, I know I've seen it on TV shows. I, put, I pulled a few images of it being used, how people take his artwork and use it in different ways. So this is, you know, it in a glass, right? Like if it was water, this great wave trapped in a glass. I thought that was really interesting. We also have this one that's painting on the side of a building, which is super cool. And then I think we have one more which is on an Oreo, which I thought was really funny because you can make art out of anything, which is great. And so this person decided to be inspired by his work of art and then make it on an Oreo, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's some uh, block printing, which is relief paint printing. And so for relief, right, you've got to carve out what you don't want printed. And so I figured we'd show a quick tutorial to, to do it with styrofoam. So you can buy blocks, um, Printing plates, styrofoam printing plates off of Amazon too. They're sheets of styrofoam. Or you can just use a styrofoam plate like I did. And I cut out a little square or rectangle. And then so for today's activity, I'm gonna do a city. And so as always, when we come to making our art, we wanna use a pencil first. So that way we, if we wanna change something, we can't easily. So I'm gonna turn it this way and I'm just gonna sketch out some buildings for my city. I'm gonna lightly sketch them out on here so I can make sure I get something that I'm happy with for my city. Okay, so once I lightly sketch it out with my pencil, I want you guys to grab a pen and so ask mom or dad or grandma or grandpa, someone to help you with this because you don't wanna get pen on the table by accident. And the trick is to draw once in blue pen and then once in black pen. If you trace it twice, you know you have a really deep print and your print will show up really well. And so I'm just gonna outline these buildings with my pen. And because it is styrofoam, sometimes it's hard to get a straight line and that's okay, guys. That's the cool thing about printmaking. When you're digging in to your plate, everything kind of looks a little different. Roof. Some shingles on my roof. Oh, a short little building. Now, buildings have what on them? They typically have windows, so I definitely need to add some windows. What else do buildings typically have? Windows are great to look out of. Did someone say doors? I think so. Buildings typically have doors too, right? Cause you gotta get into the building somehow. 
So you wanna make sure you draw your doors. You can draw rectangle doors, rounded doors. You can draw circle windows. So whatever you want. These are your buildings, your city. All right, so like I said, if you draw it once, like in a blue pen, and then once in a black pen, it'll make sure you get a really deep uh, imprint into your plate. Now, when I talked about relief printmaking, right, it's what you take away. So whatever I've drawn into my plate will not get printed. So the white parts will get printed, and the blue parts will not get printed. And so if you wanted your building windows to get printed, but not the building, you would have to kind of sit here and color in the whole building dark with the blue pen to make sure it was relieved right below the surface so that it wouldn't get printed. So once you have your buildings, I have a plate down here too that I did yesterday. So I drew my buildings, right? I traced them twice. Um, you can see there's some paint on it from yesterday. But so it's a nice little city, right, that I've done. So now that your print uh, block is done, you have to get ready to print it again. So once again, we're gonna go back to that tray, right? That cookie sheet, anything you got, that's a nice smooth surface. I'm gonna put a little bit of purple on here. Take my paintbrush, it has some pink in it, and I'm okay with that, because I don't mind if it mixes with the pink that's already on there. If you do mind, you're definitely gonna wanna clean your paintbrush and clean your surface. So let me get that purple. All right, I'm gonna take my plate right here and I'm gonna press it down. So you wanna put it in the middle there, right? And you're gonna press it down into that ink. I'm gonna make sure it gets nice and coated. Now, if you pull it up and you don't think it's coated all the way, like I got, I missed them over there, you can hit it with your paintbrush. Right, you don't want to get it too thick on it, but you can hit it with the paintbrush. Just like that. Make sure all the edges are covered. Boom. So there it is. It's nice and covered. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to pull out a piece of paper. It's green. All right, and you're going to want to press it down. And you don't want it to move once you press it down. So you want to hold it with one hand. Maybe take your other hand, spin it around. Make sure it gets a nice press. But you don't want to move it. If you move it a bunch, it's going to be a blurry print. All right, so that's probably good. Let's go ahead. We're going to pull it up. All right, so there's our first print. Right, like I said, everything you draw with the blue line does not get printed. So it's, you see the green of the paper through it and everything else has the purple background. So you're gonna wanna do this two, three, four times for your city. And then you're gonna let it dry. I'm gonna cut this one out quickly so that you guys can see them. You wanna let it dry before you cut it out. Now, what colors are you guys gonna do your prints in? Is purple your favorite color? So you're gonna do a purple print? Or is blue? I talk about it often, blue is my favorite color. What colors are you thinking about to do your print in today? Mm. So you would cut out your city. All right, and this would be one layer. You wanna, like I said, do two, three, four, you do five. And then you're gonna to wanna to grab a separate piece of paper. Oop, that one's already printed on. Let's go for this white one. And with your city, you're gonna layer it down here. So I have an example of one that I started, right? So the same print, all my cities layered, right? And so I could add this one down here and add a, another layer to my print, right? And it looks like the city's up on a hill, it's rising up, and then you want to do your sky in the background. So you wanna glue it down, and then you can take a pencil, and you can draw some clouds if you wanted to maybe up here. Uh, maybe you want to go ahead and make your sky with a print as well. And so the same thing, you could take your styrofoam, get a new one, carve in some clouds and a sun, and you could print it for your background. That is totally up to you. 
You just want to make sure that when you do it, you press hard and firm across it so it leaves a really, really good print. All right, and so if I glue this one down here, look at that city. That looks like a big city, doesn't it? So I would love to see you guys try this at home, make your own city and do multiple layers like this. And you just gotta grab some glue, like Elmer's glue, and glue it on, layer it. So here's the trick too, when you go to start gluing, notice I'm not starting and I'm not adding this one to the top. What would happen if I added this one up here to the top? It would cover some of my city, right? I would cover this one up, right, those buildings. So you don't wanna do that, you wanna add it down here at the bottom. And so when you start gluing your city, you wanna make sure that you start with the furthest one in the back first and then make your way forward. If you start down here, you can't get your other buildings behind it. So I glued this one first. And then this one, this one, this one, right? So it's layered. And then you wanna add the detail for your sky. And look at that city. So last week we talked about the ocean and the five different layers of the ocean, right? And I had some awesome artwork submitted. So this first one is Eleanor's artwork and she was so excited to start it on Sunday. Um, during church, apparently she was just so excited. She's like, can we do art, can we do art? And so they sat down and they made an awesome ocean scene. And look at those layers and the blue, it gets darker. I love it and all those fish. She did such a great job. And we have another one submitted by Sully who did awesome. Um, he got up and was working on it. I was super excited. I love his angler fish there. He did a great job drawing that and his turtle. I mean, it looks like the Finding Nemo cast right there if I ever saw one. Um, did a great job with all those layers of the ocean. So I would love to see some pictures of your cities that you print make this week or any prints you make from leaves out in the yard. Um, just post them to Facebook, tag Foundation Noonan, and we'll show them next week. We hope you guys have a great day, and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.